The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with the afternoon update here. We want to take a quick look at some of these markets. They're still strong up on the day. They opened sharply higher. Sold off a little bit and came storming back, just like a bull market usually does. The biggest news of the day, folks, was the big move in crude oil. We punched above $82 a barrel without any trouble. We're staying above there all morning. And also, we had Mike Moore on, if you remember, uh, just the last half hour. And he told us that we were probably going to be looking at some really strong markets in crude oil, which we've seen this over the last three and a half weeks, because... When it was at 74, he said it was going to go a lot higher, and here we are today at 82, which is a, a big move. Gasoline now in here in Tucson has gone from 308 five weeks ago to 414 today, which is really, uh, really, really quite amazing. Now, I'm going to put a chart up that some of you folks may or may not see. It's from our good friend Stan Harley, and Stan was looking for a very important Lucas number to be hit in the stock market today and I'll get this up so you folks will be able to take a look at it here at Tiger TV and also if you're watching it at home tonight you'll be able to see it but um, that's what it looks like and so far it's been a high but the market broke uh, well well over 400 points in the Dow and it since rallied back almost making new highs and it's still early to go with two hours it, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> sorry folks it's these allergies here today because we've got 97 degree temperature today folks this matches a high that we haven't seen here in april since 1895 and boy it's making these trees bloom like crazy and guess who they come after when this happens so anyway we'll get this all done and i'm feeling terrific other than having a little bit of a, a little bit of congestion but i'm actually doing really good for for what i do in my age which i'm happy to be able to do it so we're going to take a break here and come back with uh, Fibonacci 24-7. And I'm going to tell you a story about technical stuff, folks. You're going to love it. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having